My name's Tom Allard and I am a first year English student at Cambridge University. I am a Sara Network alumni, having been a pupil at Ysgol Gymraeg Bromer Ganog. Going to university is about opening doors. It's about challenging yourself academically. But more than that, it's also an opportunity to immerse yourself in a brand new environment. In a new city, joining societies and clubs, trying new and exciting activities and taking advantage of the many opportunities on offer. I've met loads of people through the Mabinogi, the Welsh Society and the Rowing, and that's just to name a few. When you're thinking about your A-level choices, there are many things that you should take into consideration. Fundamentally, you should choose A-level options that interest and inspire you. I wasn't sure which university degree I wanted to pursue in year 10. And if you're not sure either, perhaps it's a good idea to keep your options open by choosing a wider variety, maybe a mixture of science and humanities. I chose to study chemistry, biology, English literature, AS maths and the Welsh back, which gave me a wider flexibility in choosing the course that suited me best, meaning that I was able to keep my doors open. It might help for you to think about your future career plans, but ultimately, it's important to pick subjects that you're excited to pursue and to learn more. The great thing about university is the huge variety of courses available that you may not even have considered. You may want to consider a vocational course such as medicine or nursing or dentistry or something creative like art or architecture or perhaps one of the humanities like history or English. With over 37,000 courses, there's something there for everyone. Your chosen university course will allow you to expand on your skills within academia. You'll get the chance to improve on your analytical skills through research. And in my experience, you'll get the chance to research a wide range of texts, from medieval to modern, spanning from 1066 to the present day, which encourages your personal interests and enables you to develop different critical approaches. You'll also get the chance to fine tune your discussion skills within a professional setting, as well as your ability to research and write, all of which are transferable skills to future workplaces. University courses promote the chance to pursue a wide array of different career paths and job prospects with humanity degrees leading to careers in media and journalism, law, academia, diplomacy, and science degrees leading to research, academia, or journalism, and many more. My schedule offers a certain amount of flexibility to further my own interests through independent research, which is definitely one of the most appealing things about the course. At university, you get to organize your own time. I get to pick which lectures interest me, and often I'll try and find ones that tie in with my teaching. I have two classes at the moment, each lasting between an hour and an hour and a half, one based on a period paper for which I prepare a weekly essay, and practical criticism classes for which I research the material in preparation for the discussion. These vary in sizes, I have some with a supervision partner, and others in small five to six person classes. These discussions are a really good chance to get to grips with the material and to get to know your fellow students. I think to choose your university, the first thing to do is to look at the course, what their focus is and whether their teaching will suit you. This is going to be one of the main factors in your university life. So it's important to ensure that it's the right environment for you. Cambridge offered a teaching style that I felt would suit me, so I applied. But there are many other factors that are really important to consider. For example, some universities are based on the campus. So they're separate from the city, which promotes an environment where you're surrounded by your peers. Other universities are based within a city, so that you're more immersed in city life. Choose the one that appeals to you most. For me, growing up in a relatively rural setting, I wanted the chance to live in the city where I could walk to a coffee shop in less than five minutes. Some universities like Cambridge, Oxford and Durham offer collegiate systems, 
which creates more of an immediate close-knit community within a bigger establishment, which really appealed to me. Some students choose to live at home and attend a local university, whilst others choose to live at university. The important thing is to choose your university based on you, on your preferences, interests and the societies that they offer. You may want to consider accessibility, special services, the size, reputation or facilities that the institute has to offer. Or maybe if the institution offers more emphasis on research or teaching. Not all universities offer every degree, so be really careful when you're doing your research as well. The first thing to do is to have a look at a university prospectus. You'll find them at the, on the university website or through your school or college. In it, you will find a brief overview of the courses they offer, the entry requirements and the focus of their teaching. This is also a great way to understand what the institution offers in terms of both academic and social opportunities. If you are able to attend some open days in person or online, Make the most of them. It's a great way to find out more about the course and to get a feel for the place. After all, you are planning on spending some time there. It's also a great idea to have a chat with someone who's already at the university so that you can quiz them on any questions or worries that you may have. My advice for my year 10 self would be to explore my interests. It's also a really great idea to try to get some work experience if possible and to try to do some reading around your subject. Seren offers brilliant opportunities that are designed to help you. I was fortunate enough to attend the Yale Young Global Scholars Summer School through the network, but there are many other amazing courses that are available, such as the Jesus College Oxford Summer Course, Seren offers events designed to help pupils with their university applications, offering specific sessions to prepare for entrance exams and for writing personal statements. Seren really does help to build your confidence and to reach your potential. Thank you for watching. I hope you found the session interesting and informative. But more importantly, good luck with your university applications and be sure to use the resources offered through your school and the university websites. Dialchen Vaur. We hope you have found your masterclass and university guidance videos interesting and informative. It's now time to head over and take a look at the resources available and importantly, details of the magazine article competition. This is an exciting opportunity to answer the question you tackled in your masterclass. Remember that if you're going to take part in the essay competition, you can download guidance from the lobby and you should submit your magazine article to your teacher by the 22nd of March. As I mentioned earlier, the best pieces from each school will be reviewed by a panel of experts with winner from each hub receiving a certificate from the Welsh Government. We look forward to receiving your entries and good luck. Finally, before we go, for any teachers watching, we would like your help. This has been the first time that we've been able to bring you a national Seren Foundation event. So as teachers, we need you to tell us what worked well and what could have been even better to support the planning of future events. You'll receive an email with an evaluation link sent straight after this event. And we really value any feedback you're able to provide. Thank you in advance for your feedback. And all that remains for us to say is goodbye. Stay safe, stay well and stay learning.